What's up everybody? So I'm back with another South Park reaction video. So today we are reacting to season 11, episode 14, The List. I'm excited to see what this list entails. I, I feel like it could be comparisons or it could be like, I don't know if you guys seen Mean Girls, like a burn book type thing. I don't know. That's just some predictions, but let's just hop into it and see what this episode is all about. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and leave down any recommendations for any videos you want me to react to. Fellas! Fellas! <laughs> Butters. If the girls in our class have a list that rates every boy's looks from cutest to ugliest. Ugh. I had a feeling it was something like that. He's the ugliest. I don't know. It's like a girl thing. They won't let anybody see the list but them. <laughs> <laughs> they about to steal that list. Who are they to judge us on how we look? Yeah. You think they rate us just for looks or they take personality into account? If it's just looks, then I think I'm safe. <laughs> Stupid list. Girls make dumb lists all the time. Yeah, Kyle's right. Screw it. We have better things to worry about. You're just saying that because you know you're going to be very last on the list. <laughs> chicks think I'm way hotter than you. You don't think they put the fat tub of lard at the bottom? Oh no, because God. chicks know I'm not fat. I'm buff. I'm not fat. I'm buff. You don't think they said I'm the ugliest boy in the class, do you? Well, if they did, my parents would ground me. <laughs> Why would they ground him for that? All right, baby, let's see the list. What? You know what I'm talking about, bitch! Oh, my gosh. Craig is on the bottom, right? Or is it Kenny because you'd be eating Pop-Tarts for dinner if you married him? I'm not telling! And anyway, I'm not the list keeper. Nellie is. And Nellie will never let you look at it. So, there. <laughs> <laughs> they should have gave it to Wendy. That's one they was not getting that list from. Screw that, dude. We're guys. We can outthink them. Lies. That chick Nellie is the one who's in charge of holding the list, right? She apparently keeps it in a purple peachy folder, and we need a plan to get it from her. This is what I call Operation Cannot Possibly Fail. Nino! <laughs> it's Butters really taking notes. Strike. As she makes her way through hallway three, Craig will be ready with a distraction device. Here. When she stops and turns to Craig in the hallway, Butters will run up and kick her in the bows. Okay! <laughs> Oh my gosh. What'd you do that for? <laughs> hey, what's your problem, asshole? Fail, fail. <laughs> I thought it was called Operation Possibly Can't Fail. One that I call Operation Cannot Possibly Fail a second time. When Nellie leaves the cafeteria for recess, Kenny will jump in front of her and spit on the ground. You think maybe girls keep their balls on the inside of their tummies? <laughs> Poor Butters got his ass beat. We got it! We got it! We got the list from the girls! Well, I guess the second time was a charm. Yep. It's listed in order from cutest to ugliest. Clyde's number one. Me? I'm the cutest? <laughs> and then Token, and then me. I'm number two? Let me see! Where's Butters? <gasps> Y'all put Butters all the way at the bottom. Whoopee! Number 11! <laughs> Look at that. I'm hotter than you, fatso. What? That's bullcrap! Oh, so big deal, guys. You feel better now? Clyde's the best-looking kid in the class. And then Tolkien and Stan. And last is Francis, Cartman, and... They put Kyle under Cartman. I know he's sick. Me? Aww. That's it! <laughs> Cartman, lay off. You're next to last. I was about to say, Cartman, you are not too far off. I'm better looking than Kyle. Yes, I'm hotter than Kyle. I'm hotter than Kyle. He really holds on to those small victories, doesn't he? I got voted the ugliest boy in the whole class? Here's what dumb girls think, right? Oh, this makes me feel so bad for him. Mom, Dad! I'm not the ugliest kid in the class! Kyle Brabowski is! Well, good for you, Butters! Way to go, champ! Whoopee! <laughs> well, guess we don't have to ground him. They are fucked up. Kyle, what's the matter? You barely touched your conditions. The girls at school, they made a list and voted me the ugliest boy. What? That's ridiculous! My little boobala is adorable! My little boobala. You're not ugly, Kyle. You're my perfect little man. You look just like your father. <laughs> oh, God, I do? But he has his mother's nose. Ha! Ah! He doesn't even have a nose. <laughs> Ike, you have to be honest. Am I ugly, yes or no? Silence is so telling. Aw, he's not the ugliest. I feel so bad for him. I'm better looking than you. <laughs> I hate him. Dude, cow. Dude, cow. Can you hear me? 
totally think I'm hotter than you are. I can't stand him. Maybe getting to bed. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Hey. He's feeling his soul. Nice. Nice. He is definitely feeling himself. Oh gosh, they've done created a monster. <laughs> Leave Kyle alone. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Clyde. Hey. Hi, Clyde. What's going on? <laughs> hey, ugly. <laughs> I can't stand them. Why does he have a number 11 shirt on? <laughs> You know, Abraham Lincoln was super ugly too. But look what he accomplished. <laughs> hey, nice, nice ears. <laughs> Pizza face. <laughs> Butter, stop being mean. Uh, oh my gosh. I feel so Cap, bad. I was going to suggest that maybe you should hang out with the other ugly kids in the school. Because if you hang out with them, you won't stand out so much. Right? Kid. What the fuck? Kyle, go hang out with your friends. Hey. Hello. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. I feel so bad for him. <laughs> Could somebody toss a football back? It's over there next to the ugly kids. I hate coming to the school. It makes me angry. Yeah. Sometimes I just want to burn it down. Burn the whole school down to the ground. Oh my gosh. We aren't ugly. We're not? No. Maybe we all just need a little image change, you know? Maybe you just need to let your hair do. And let's see how you look without those glasses. <laughs> let's just put those back on. <laughs> he just says that now. He's like, never mind. Yeah, go talk to your friend. This is a nice surprise. I thought you were never speaking to me again. Yeah, well, I want to talk to you about this list you girls made. They broke up? Look, it really messed Kyle up, okay? How could you vote him the ugliest? Well, personally, I didn't vote him the ugliest. My vote was for Eric Cartman. Maybe you can just change the list. Change the list? Do you have any idea what that would take? Maybe you don't understand how important list making is to girls. It's not just something we do flippantly. They taking this list so serious. Today's list meeting <laughs> is called to order. Rebecca, you have the floor. Girls we hate most. They are so serious about these lists. Shine Sparkle, Wendy has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, I would like to suggest that we that we reopen last week's list for debate. We assure you that no list is made hastily by this committee. He didn't mean that. He was just saying maybe we should open it up again for discussion. If you can find recourse for such an inquiry, Wendy, I would review it. This is madness. Like this is a whole process for them, like seriously. Oh gosh, they got Kyle thinking evil thoughts. And the girls giggle behind my back, unable to even glance at my disfigured face. Do not burn down the school, Kyle. Who said that? I did. <laughs> not the ghost of Abe Lincoln. This woman is Nancy Pinkerton. As a child, she was consistently voted the most beautiful girl in her entire school. Her life as a youth was filled with praises and everything being handed to her. Boys told her she was special, she was funny, she was interesting. But that's only because she was hot. When her looks started to fade, that she learned she was actually about as interesting and special as a wet carrot. <laughs> That's really how it be. Like, people don't be having shit to offer other than looks sometimes. Like your classmate, Clive. Now that he knows he's good looking, <laughs> he doesn't have to make any effort to be special. No, Rebecca's just a friend. I want to be with you now. Not him being a little fuckboy. Uh-uh. So you see, Kyle, it is actually the beautiful kids who are cursed. But I can't wait to be an adult to be happy. That's forever from now. No, it's not. Please, don't rush. You're not missing out on anything. Kyle, you need to think about what I've told you. I don't want to. I don't want anybody telling me how to feel anymore. Well, then you're just a fucking asshole. <laughs> He's like, I was just trying to help. Now fuck you. <laughs> wait, Stan, I think I've got something. Take a look at this. During final deliberation of the list for cutest boy, seven girls gave Clyde a glitter rating of only one sparkle. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> hey, Rebecca, do you still have the voter cards for the list that rated the boys' looks? Oh, Wendy, we're done with that list. I know, but I think there's been a mistake. Six of the girls I've talked to didn't vote Clyde the cutest. That means that mathematically he should have been- All right, you need to stop digging around, Wendy. Oh, shit. 
Just back off and stop asking questions. You're getting close to a secret that I don't think you can handle. Let it go. I think she needs to see the episode from last week. Wendy don't test her burger, okay? I don't know who she thinks she's talking to, but it ain't my sis Wendy. That's all I know. Of lighter fluid, seven gallons of high octane kerosene, and a box of matches. Okay, is that everything, little boy? <laughs> that should just about do it. He's about to burn that motherfucker down. I believe a member of our committee has tampered with one of our lists. I compiled a full report, and it turns out that nobody voted Clyde the cutest in the class. I believe Rebecca changed the list to make him number one. Why would why she do that? Yeah, why? Aid. Rebecca started going out with Clyde. You just couldn't let it go. Oh, 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 oh. I'm afraid we can't do that, Wendy. Did you know, Wendy, that Clyde's father owns the shoe store at the mall? A lot of us have always wanted to date Clyde to get free shoes. Unfortunately, the members voted Clyde in the bottom five of the list. That's why we had to manipulate the votes, forge a new list, and hide the real one. It's all of them dating him at the same time and knowing like he thinks he's a player, but they're just using him for free stuff. <laughs> Who do you think authorized the buyout? No, not Bebe. She's dating Clyde now. Nobody loves shoes more than her. What's going on? Do yourself a favor, Wendy. Just let it go and keep your little mouth shut. I don't think so. <laughs> Jesus, dude! <laughs> I love her so much. Hey, kid, have you seen Kyle? We've looked everywhere and we have to show him something. He's burning down to school. <laughs> what the hell? They done created a monster. You made me look like this! Kyle, Kyle, don't! Don't try and stop me, Stan! You don't know how it feels to be a deformed monstrosity! The list was a forgery, Kyle! Huh? It didn't sparkle with all the girls. We have the real list. That's about far enough! Give me that list, Wendy! Wait, wait. It was never this deep. Well, what number was I? You've compromised everything. Our list's integrity. Did you see these shoes, Wendy? They're incredible. Yo, this is crazy. Is that a lace across the top? No, it's a little strap. Wendy! Oh, but it doesn't matter. You took it too far. If you hadn't gone all Nancy Drew on us, this would have just gone away. She's gonna kill us? <laughs> what? We know all about it. The list was compromised. Kyle Blaski is not the ugliest boy in the class. <laughs> this is really crazy as hell. I told you to stop playing with Wendy. Wendy! How <laughs> oh, the fuck? What the hell? Kenny is just home enjoying a meal. Mind his business. Stan, it's been really great hanging out with you again. I feel like you've changed somehow, in a really awesome way. Yeah, well, I guess a lot of things change, don't they? Aww. He's about to throw up. <laughs> well then, <laughs> that was crazy. That took a turn. That was not expecting. They made this list <laughs> because they wanted to get free shoes from him. And he was definitely feeling himself, so it worked. He wanted to date all of them. And they all dated him, and they all got to free shoes. So I guess, I, I, like I said, these are adults in these tiny little bodies. Because who thinks of this? Who thinks of this at eight years old? Who? They do. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.